So I had a client called me. Hey Manny, my only problem with this scissor lift doesn't want to charge. You know, well my guy uses it for about 30 minutes to an hour and it dies. You know, can you come check it out? See what see, see what we can figure out. I said, cool. See what we got. So this is where I'm at right now. Scissor lift inside. So we're gonna eliminate the charger. The charger's not gonna be the issue. And the way we're gonna do that is. Roughly 24.5, 25. Depending on how good the charge. And when you plug in your charger, right there, see the lights come on. So what we're gonna do now is reread them. Climb straight 26. 26.427. So perfect. The charger is doing its job. It's charging. There's no problem with the charger. Eliminate positive elimination. So now we get to load testing these batteries. Water drier than the Sahara Desert. Problem number one. Units roughly about four, five years old, original batteries. So we'll maintain these batteries, you'll get about four years worth of life. Uh, this unit's 2016, most likely the batteries are gonna be the culprit. Now, we're gonna load test the batteries. They all went under five. So what we're gonna do is replace the batteries and this is how we replace batteries on the GS1930. We're gonna make sure you take that off. That way you get no sparking on nothing. First battery, your main positive right here. As soon as you swing it out, the one on the outside, that's your main positive, that's your positive charge. Left side negative, holds your negative charge. From one to the other one, 24 volts. From one to one, six volts. Usually 916 half size bolts. Pretty easy to take off. It's a nice little pulley. With a muscle. Now sometimes these do get stuck. So these be very stuck. What you want to do is pry it down there. Put a little bit of water here on the side. It should slide right up. Now we're gonna put the new bad boys in. Six volt. And the way we determine what way they go. So you got your positive side, which is up this side. You wanna go ahead and try to put your post, your positive post, facing that side. And then the rest is a serious circuit. Serious circuits are really just positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So once you do that, positive. Battery on this side. Negative. Battery on this side. Up against that side. Negative post. 
So I'll put those in and I'll show you how they look here in a minute. So here, we'll have my positive lead, negative lead, negative hard to see, positive. Now we have positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. If you have any corrosion, clean it up. It don't take but two, five minutes. So all right, let's get your battery cleaner. And a battery protector while you're at it now, because we're going to add that to the terminals. Just hook your wires back up, hook your positive charger, your negative charger. to like, comment, subscribe. Then put your power plug safety back on. So, so it's nice to have a nice and handy voltmeter, a power probe or something that you can check volts on them. From your negative to your positive. And just like we said, six volts, six volts, six volts, six volts, 24 volts system. Now the client can be up and running. Oh, these batteries should last a good four to five years, as long as you keep them well maintained and bought water to them. Distilled water. Can't preach that I know distilled water in here. Good to go. Last but not least, terminal protectors. Do the job right, you know, half fast, you know, keep these old timers happy. Drain it. Wow. Just make sure your charger comes on. Perfect green light, plugged in. No loose cables, we did everything right. A-OK. -okay.